Hey, what's up everybody? I uh, got a quick one for you today. Got a suggestion from subscriber Steve, Steve West. Steve, shout out to you. I don't know if you live out West or that's just your name. Um, but uh, he had a question about where I get my brushes from and uh, how to install them. So let's just uh, quickly uh, do that. Okay, so uh, just to start off, I have no affiliation with any of these uh, places where I get my brushes. Um, so I don't get anything for this. They're just what I use. Um, first, I get some brushes from Affinity. So if you go to the Affinity uh, website and you go to add-ons, they have a bunch of different assets and brushes in here, which are pretty cool. Um, the first thing I'll suggest, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here, is if you don't have this already, go pick up this uh, uh, Dream, Dream, Dreamography um, brushes from Affinity. They're free. So if you own it, you can use them in both Affinity Designer and Affinity um, photo and it's free so there's a ton of cool stuff in there there's like mountains and trees and if you go and check it out it'll tell you all the brushes that are in here but some really really cool stuff here so that's where I would go first um, just get them because they're free next up I also like uh, retro supply now a lot of sites have brushes for procreate and Photoshop but they don't have them for affinity uh, retro supply is really awesome because they have a whole section so if you go to their shop button they have bundles and brushes and textures uh, all specifically for Affinity Photo and for uh, Affinity Designer. They're all really high quality uh, and I really enjoy using them. Both of these sites, might I add, the, the two sites I'm going to show you, the next two. This one, if you sign up for their newsletter, I think you get like 20% off your first purchase. Again, I'm not affiliated at all. Oh, here's 20% right here. Uh, I'm not affiliated at all with them, but they're really, really good quality stuff. And the other one I use is called True Grit Texture Supply. Uh, and same thing, they have a section um, for Affinity stuff. So if you go to shop, they have an Affinity section for uh, kits and brushes and all that kind of stuff. And they are the same thing. If you sign up, I think, for their newsletter, 20% off your purchase. So tons of cool stuff that they have. Um, I have this grain, uh, grain shader brush. Really, really cool. I really like that one. Um, but they got all kinds of stuff. So that's where I get my brushes, number one. Now let's talk about actually getting them. Um, and putting them in Affinity. Okay, so we're back in Affinity, and if you don't know about brushes or paint brushes uh, in general, I'll link my brush video below. Um, but what you'll do is you'll go to those sites, you'll download the brushes that you want, then you're gonna go over to your brushes panel here in the right-hand side, and then you're gonna click on this little hamburger menu to the right here. And when you click on that, you got all these options, and one of them is called Import Brushes. So you're gonna click on that, and then it's going to ask you or it wants to know where your brushes are downloaded to. So for example, you could pick any one of these. These are all some of the brushes I have downloaded. Um, I already have them installed, but you would basically click on your brush and you would click open. And just for example, I'm going to use that dream photography one here. And all your brushes will appear um, here in your panel. So if I go to my brush tool over here and I select one of these brushes, uh, I'll pick another color here. There we go. Um, these are just some of the brushes that they have. This is like a moon shape. It's like a moon, I guess. Um, some trees. Make those green, I guess. But that is how you would essentially um, get some brushes and import them. You can also create your own brushes, which I will do in another video. But uh, that's the basis of it. I know Affinity is also doing an update currently right now, I think for 2.1, where the names will appear above these brushes as opposed to um, just, the, just the lookout. The visual lookout looks like it's going to get a little bit better to how you can actually view your brushes. So once you import your brushes, they'll all be in here. Um, I got a bunch of them. Um, and uh, yeah, you just pick your brush and you're good to go. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. If uh, anybody has any questions, you know, as always, leave a leave a comment. I'll get right back to you. And, uh, you know, if you want to do me a big favor, you want to just tap, 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 tap the subscribe button. Uh, me and you are going to be best friends. We're going to go have a coffee or maybe like a tea if you it's past eight o'clock and you, you, you know, you don't like caffeine. Um, and uh, if you've never seen my videos before and you want to be cool, uh, yeah, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.